Peptides is an ingredient we see a lot in skincare these days, right? Peptides improve elasticity. Peptides are effective for well aging. Do they really work? Let me analyze it. Hi, it's Yunha. More and more people are choosing products based on their skincare ingredients. I'm one of those people too. But recently, I became really curious about the most popular ingredient. It's peptides. Peptides are said to help with skin elasticity. But don't you wonder how they actually work on your skin? In this video, I'm gonna approach peptides scientifically and explain what kind of effects they have. It might be a little bit tough, but I will break it down and explain easily. Peptides are chains of amino acids that are linked together in short sequences. They are the building blocks of collagen and elastin in the skin. As we age, the production of peptides in our body decreases, and as the peptides reduce, wrinkles and loss of elasticity occur. So, when we supplement our skin with peptides, they help promote collagen production, improving skin elasticity. In other words, peptides penetrate deep into the skin and play a role in activating cell regeneration. Peptides can be broadly classified into four types. Signal peptides, carrier peptides, neurotransmitter inhibitor peptides, and enzyme inhibitor peptides. Now let me, research Yunha, explain how each of these peptides work on the skin. Researcher Yunha, please come out! Hi there, it's researcher Yunha. Let me give you a more detailed explanation of the peptides I mentioned earlier as MC Yunha. First off, signal peptides are the kind of peptides that send signals to skin cells to produce specific proteins. They mainly help improve skin elasticity by promoting the production of collagen, elastin, and fibronectin. For example, peptides like palmitoyl pentapeptide 4 send signals to collagen production genes when applied to the skin, helping boost collagen production and firming up the skin structure. So, you can think of signal peptides as giving comments like, Hey you, make more collagen! As a result, signal peptides help reduce wrinkles and maintain firm, elastic skin by improving skin density. Next, we have carrier peptides. Carrier peptides play a key role in effectively delivering active ingredients, especially minerals, into the skin cells. For example, copper peptides absorb into the skin and deliver copper ions to the skin cells. Copper is an essential mineral for collagen synthesis, antioxidant activity, and wound healing, which helps improve skin regeneration and boost elasticity. Especially, GHKCU peptides are known for their excellent ability to repair skin damage and prevent aging. So, you can think of carrier peptides as directly transporting beneficial ingredients to the skin for maximum effect. Third, we have neurotransmitter inhibitor peptides. These peptides help reduce the formation of expression lines like forehead and eye wrinkles. Wrinkles form due to the continuous movement of facial muscles such as frowning or smiling and these peptides temporarily inhibit muscle contraction. A representative example is acetylhexapeptide 8 which partially blocks the nerve signals from reaching the muscles providing a similar effect to Botox. However, unlike Botox which paralyzes the muscles, this peptide helps reduce the wrinkles while maintaining a natural expression. Although it doesn't have the dramatic instant effect of Botox, with regular use, you may notice that expression lines become less pronounced. Lastly, we have enzyme inhibitor peptides. These peptides help reduce the activity of specific enzymes that accelerate skin aging. For example, an enzyme called MMP, which is matrix metalloproteinase, increases as aging processes and has the ability to break down collagen and elastin in the skin. 
So, these peptides inhibit the activity of MMP, slowing down the collagen breakdown and helping maintain skin elasticity. A representative example is trifluoroacetyl tripeptide 2, which helps prevent skin sagging and loss of elasticity. So, enzyme-inhibiting peptides especially tell aging enzymes, Take it easy! The skin is getting older! I wonder if everyone understood? It was a bit hard, right? I will show you a table summarizing the characteristics of peptides. So, for those who want to capture it, feel free to take a screenshot. Now, MC Yuna, come on out! Thank you, researcher Yuna. Did everyone understand about peptides? Then, how about we analyze the peptides in a product and see how they work on the skin? Today, the product we'll be introducing is Dear Claire's Midnight Blue Use Activating Drop. It claims to help with skin soothing and wrinkle improvement with EGF peptides and guajulin. Let's analyze the ingredients today. First, Dear Claire's Midnight Blue Use Activating Drop contains two peptides. EGF, which is epidermal growth factor, and BFGF, which is basic fibroblast growth factor. EGF is a type of signal peptide. Did you know that? EGF binds with the EGF receptors, which is EGFR, on the skin cell surface and activates signals for cell division and growth. In this process, keratinocytes and fibroblasts proliferate, promoting skin recovery and regeneration. It especially increases collagen and hyaluronic acid synthesis, improving wrinkles and enhancing skin density. As skin regeneration is promoted, it's natural that blemish marks and damaged skin recover faster, and wrinkles are improved, elasticity is straightened, and the skin barrier is also fortified. Isn't it amazing to know the types of peptides? The EGF we apply actually gives the skin orders to make it healthier and stronger, making it a really helpful friend for our skin. Next. Let's talk about BFGF, another signal peptide. BFGF activates fibroblasts, which are responsible for producing collagen and elastin. But didn't EGF also stimulate fibroblast proliferation? Well, let me explain further. While EGF acts on the epidermis, the outer layer of the skin, BFGF works deeper in the dermis layer to boost skin elasticity. So when you use both EGF and BFGF together, you get dual care for both epidermis and dermis, leading to the more powerful skin regeneration. This combination stimulates collagen and elastin production in both layers, improving skin elasticity, preventing wrinkles, and increasing skin density, giving you further, healthier skin. So, when is the best time to use this product? Since this product is great for skin regeneration and elasticity improvement through EGF and BFGF, it's ideal to use it as the first essence in your nighttime routine. After cleansing your face, apply the Midnight Blue Youth Activating Drop, then follow with toner, serum, and cream for effective absorption. Skin regeneration is most active while you sleep, so using it before bed will give you even better results. With consistent use for about 4 to 8 weeks, you will start to see positive changes. If you're thinking about trying peptides, definitely give it a go! Today, we learned about peptides. It might have been a little bit difficult, but did everyone understand it well? If you have any questions, whatever, about what might be best for your skin, feel free to let me know in the comments. I'll be sure to share more helpful information with you along with researcher Yunha. And if you are wondering about the benefits of peptides, I hope this video was helpful. I will see you in the next video. Bye!